Hey, it's Kish. And it's Roland here. And we're back with round two of the Bendigo League Challenge in the new Primal Clash to Guardians Rising format. In this round, we'll be featuring Jonathan on the left playing Mega Ray versus Nathan on the right playing Greninja. Nathan, a Pokédad, uh, doing it for the Pokédads out there. So uh, good luck to him. And this is an interesting matchup. Greninja has seen a bit of a resurgence with Field Blower coming back into the format. so Or coming into the format, rather. So how do you see this one playing out, Roland? Yeah, this is a bit of a throwback, you know, as, as you sort of alluded to there. So, yeah, this is a matchup that we've actually featured, like, for the old format. Mm -hmm. uh, we had, yeah, we've had we've had these games on before. So, it is an interesting matchup because, yeah, so Greninja can do a lot of damage, basically. And so, when it's up against a deck that isn't sort of, you know, now that it doesn't have to contend with Garbod or all these other cards, it's very efficient. It does mm -hmm. a lot of damage. It's got quite a lot of HP for a non, for just a one price attacker. Yeah. And it trades very well with, with most things. Of course, Rayquaza does play Hex Maniac, so mm -hmm. that'll reduce the damage output a bit. But one thing that's interesting to note, actually, is that Greninja List previously would have played Bursting Balloon, but now mm -hmm. you know, they'll play Choice Bank as a Field Blower. Yep. You know, if, if anything, Rayquaza actually probably prefers this mm -hmm. because um, you know, the 60 damage from Field Blower might come into play, might be more handy for the numbers. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just because it's more damage yeah. you know, to, to be straightforward. So, because, you know, because it's not like Rayquaza would usually hit around Bursting Balloon, generally yeah. speaking. I mean, that's a bit of a generalization, but, but basically this is more or less just a straight up, you know, this is the same matchup as it was like yeah. six months ago or whatever, mm -hmm. Rayquaza Greninja. Again, yeah. aside from the choice ban Bursting Balloon change, which is like kind of ambiguous as to whether that actually benefits Greninja in this matchup. Yeah. But yeah, so the only thing that's uh, probably special about Jonathan's list is the um, the Spinder. So that is a tech against good old Gyarados. That's a tech against you, Roland. Yeah, That's a Roland tech. Me specifically, tech. yeah. <laughs> Meta game no, there's, there's plenty of other Gyarados players. Uh, what are you talking <laughs> about? Uh, but yeah, so, and uh, otherwise it's, it's, it's a water list. So yeah, yeah it plays Manaphy. So it gets free retreat on any, any Pokemon with water energy. So it's good against stuff mm -hmm. um, like Decidueye Plumes and things which could strand things active. Yeah. You know, things with high retreats like Dragonite and Hoover. So... But basically, yeah, it's just a straight-on slugfest. You know, I, it's probably not going to be too relevant that it's a water deck, and Spinder yeah. is probably not going to be too relevant. Nope. And, uh, yeah, so not sure if uh, about the specifics of, um, of, of Greninja. So, mm -hmm. yeah, whether it plays Talonflame or, or what. Uh, I, no, I'm not too sure. I would... A lot of Greninja lists have been just going with the straight Froakie yeah, actually, Froakie deck. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's one thing I suppose I should probably add in the newer Greninja lists. So in addition to the Choice Band change, yeah, they do seem to be dropping Talonflame is what, more often than not is, is what I've noticed. So, yeah. you know, maybe that is maybe that's actually disadvantageous in this matchup because mm -hmm. it just gives you something just to put up in the active spot against the, the speed of Rayquaza. And yeah. Even the 40 damage could be useful. But yeah, mm -hmm. it's not like Aero Blitz is actually like that useful in attack particularly because... Generally, you just want to be using water duplicates like when yeah. you can. You'd always prefer to use water duplicates over aero blitz. And if you go first, uh, you'd always want to use uh, water duplicates on your second turn. And you obviously can't aero blitz going first. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it, you know, there's arguments to say that Talonflame isn't worth the spots in the deck. You know, yeah. and I can totally sympathize with that. So, starting Spinder <laughs> from, yeah. uh, from Jonathan yeah, against Froakie. These uh... first few turns can be a bit awkward for Greninja. You know, it's not a well, it's not a deck that does a lot in his first turn usually, but he'll you know, definitely want to get out of Froakie. Uh a donk is very possible here. I don't think like Nathan's got a supporter and an energy, but he oh, sorry, he doesn't have a supporter, but he has an energy but no other Pokemon. So oh wow. We yeah, could see so, a donk here. Yeah, he just needs to survive this turn because he's got the frog here and the energy, uh, okay. so he'll be able to water ship with its butt. Yeah. Uh, but it doesn't look like Jonathan's probably gonna be able to well, he could retreat a Mega... Oh, he's already attached, hasn't he? Yeah, so, he could Mega yeah. Turbo three uh, times, I suppose. Yeah, but nah. If he... Maybe he doesn't play like Floatstone because he plays Manaphy. Uh, yeah, the water possi version, so. possibly. I, I've seen some lists actually cut Floatstone. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of it because yeah. it does restrict your speed because, mm -hmm. like, if, you, if you're forced to attach a, an energy to the active to retreat, well, then yeah. it's, it's tough to be fast and, well, yeah. it's almost impossible to get a turn one or break off. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so... Um, Nathan's probably out of trouble here. Yeah. So he, he'll know for, with you know 99% certainty that he's at least going to get a second turn. Yeah. He's going to be able to water duplicates. And yeah, that's a pretty good result. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess possibly Jonathan doesn't run Floatstone, but if he did, that was definitely a massive opportunity just to get a donk there. I wouldn't yeah. think it's too unlikely with Mega Ray that you no, would no, I think, do that. Yeah, I think at least with Floatstone, uh, I'm sorry, we're not sure if Jonathan does play Floatstone, but he is elected to attach the active. Um, yeah, not sure if... Uh, sorry, with Floatstone, yeah, I think a Mega Ray would possibly get the knockout maybe like 50% of the time or something mm -hmm. like that. 
you know, 40, 50 percent, just as a a ballpark figure. Um, <laughs> you know, this yeah. not a, not heaps of extensive research going to that number, but uh, maybe if you're playing, you know, faster list, maybe a bit more. So, mm-hmm. you know, basically Nathan was probably pretty scared there, and uh, yeah. He's probably going to be happy to see that he's going to be fine. You usually yeah. see a, a Karen discarded off the Sycamore. That's yeah. not a card we see played very often. At mm-hmm. least in the standard format, it actually has quite a lot of use in Expanded yeah. against uh, good old Night March, but that is a story for another day. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. In case, for all you Expanded uh, lovers mm-hmm. out there, of which there are probably like very, very few in Australia. So, yeah. The best you can really do is Mega Evolve this turn. Yeah. He did have to discard a double Colas, which was a bit awkward, but yeah, he'll probably be able to attack going uh, on his second turn. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Having that spinner up there is pretty awkward uh, because now with the Manaphy, he can't even discard that energy to Mega Turbo. Yeah, absolutely. So it's actually yeah a bit of a liability there. Yeah. Well, and, and what could even happen is that... Um, if uh, if Nathan has a Lysander, he can even Lysander at something else yeah. and force Jonathan to attach like another energy just to yeah. treat that. So that's, I mean, one of the reasons why you need Floyd's then, I think, is because you can't just be forced to attach energy every single time that, mm. you know, that you need to retreat something. So, But look, he might play Foster in his deck, uh, yeah. or maybe it is defensible, and I don't know. But uh, anyway, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> so he's got one bench spot left. He hasn't got a Mega... Uh, he hasn't really got anything. No spirit links. Nah, that's a pretty poor start. Okay, there's. Okay, it does get the mega. Yeah. Okay. So okay, not terrible in this game of things, but. Right. Here we go. Here comes the frogadier with the water duplicates. Yep. And Attaches the splash energy. Yeah. Nice that he gets the splash on there. Yeah, it so. is very nice, especially in these early turns. Yeah. But the splash energy becomes less useful later on in the game because mm-hmm. you want to be bringing the water energy back to your hand yeah. with moonlight splash usually, but um, there are some situations where you only need to do sixty damage, so. Splash Energy can be useful later on, but it's great early on. It's fantastic early on. So <coughs> so when this Frogadier gets knocked out, you know, he'll get both the Froki and the Frogadier back to his mm-hmm. hand. So, yeah, really, really helpful there. And uh, the question is, does he have... He does have a Frogadier prize. Yeah. That's one thing you're always worried about playing Greninja. Mm-hmm. All the other ones in his hand, but I don't think I saw it. No. So the fourth one is probably prized. Uh, yeah, but he still doesn't have a follow-up for next turn. He doesn't really have a supporter or anything. Ooh. And a second Mega Turbo goes down for Jonathan. Ouch. So yeah, looking unlikely he'll get a knockout here. Look, looking quite unlikely. Mm-hmm. So he gets a double colorless there. Nope, he should not be able to discard that yeah, energy. Yeah, you can't, you can't discard the energy. Um. Yeah, hopefully they pick that up soon because that's pretty, actually pretty crucial. That's yeah, quite so critical. if he could get a, um, if he get a Mega Turbo here, yeah. that would like, I'm sure he would use it and, and attach to, yeah. to Rayquaza, but he couldn't actually do that yeah. unless he had another Water Energy in his discard, which I don't think he did. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so, please let's just let's just all hope for for integrity's sake that yeah. uh, he doesn't draw a Mega Turbo here. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah, Manaphy doesn't give you the option. Uh, no. your, all your Pokemon you have water energy retreat. have free that's, retreat that's so yeah. yeah so uh, yeah okay so yeah as we said hopefully he doesn't draw that Mega Turbo because it is reasonably critical it's sort of the difference between a Greninja having a splash energy on it and not yeah uh, so yeah. like presumably if if, uh, if Nathan evolves to Greninja that is uh, so he doesn't look like he got it, so... Okay, so, yep. Yeah. So, he's forced to just pass, and... Okay, there's a the Greninja. Okay, Choice Band. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Because uh, it means he'll be able to keep the Splash on and still do um, 90 damage. So, uh, that works out pretty well uh, with the numbers uh, with Giant Water Shuriken as well, so... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's quite complicated the way the yeah. numbers all work out. Yeah, but but yeah, obviously extra an extra thirty damage is generally going to be helpful. Yeah, uh, most of the time. So more yeah. damage equals good. More damage equals good. Yeah, that's remember that equation. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, so he does get a supporter. I'm not sure if he had that the whole time or whether he just drew into that, but fortunately, he will he can get a setup going here. So Yeah, he can. If he can get out, you know, another Greninja on the bench, that'd be huge for him because it would mean that even if this active Greninja gets knocked out, he can follow up with a Greninja break on the following mm-hmm. turn. So, yeah, look, things are looking pretty good for him here. If, you know, if he can just... You know, getting a Greninja would be very, very nice. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, and the, the splash energy is big too. Presumably, he'll only attack for, for 90, but... I mean, he might yeah. choose to attack for 110, actually. Um, say, for instance, if he doesn't draw a Greninja, um, he could still 2 carry this Rayquaza by hitting for 110, then 110 again if he follows up with another choice fan. So, look, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll see what he does here, but he's got options. Yeah. Uh, I think, yeah. It, yeah, it totally depends what he draws, because if you giant water shuriken, then you can okay, just hit again for 60, so... Uh, okay, so he will have a follow-up Greninja, which is really nice. So the Greninja train will keep rolling on. It will. It will continue. <laughs> no breaks uh, yet. Stopping no stations. <laughs> it's a running out of train. train. Yeah, running out of train analogies yeah. here. Just come up with your own. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so at least one Greninja, so he can he can threaten that Greninja break on the following mm-hmm. turn. Because I mean that's the thing. Even if you have everything in your hand. Yeah. As a Greninja player, you actually need those turns to evolve it. You yeah. don't have Forest of Giant Plants like, you know, Decidueye does. Mm-hmm. You've actually just got to manually take the time. You know, how quaint is that? You've actually got to manually, you know, take turns evolving, you know. <laughs> well, what sort of backwards Stone Age yeah. thing is this? What? <laughs> Forest, as if you're not playing Forest of Giant Plants, yeah. you know. Uh, uh, so, you know ocean, of, ocean of Giant Frogs, yeah. So he's but, got a decision uh, whether to attach that energy or not. He does have a teammates in hand, which is really nice. Yeah, so okay. he can actually attach. Yeah, he can attach yeah. the water to the active and then bring that back to his yeah. hand. So he can keep the splash energy on the active yeah. while so, still doing 110 damage. So, so really that's nice. that's really really nice for him. Yeah. yeah, if he can get follow up with another choice band, he can get a knockout in the Rayquaza without even using a giant water shuriken. So he can really, yeah, he can really set himself up, you know, to be in a good spot this game. And of course, you know. Um, Jonathan has, well, Mega Ray in general has no way of getting damaged shamans off its board. So, as long as Nathan doesn't counter the stadium, uh, you know, what, what could happen is that just two giant water shurikens could... Yeah. Uh, uh, Jonathan has attached the double collis to the bench Rayquaza. And he's ultra walling uh, here. So, he's just giving up that ray. Uh, he had a water in hand, which he could have attached. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, see. Because his bench is full, so he can't really like grab anything else. He's got Ultra Ball, Lysander, yeah. and Unknown just sitting there randomly. <laughs> I'm not too sure what those are doing. Uh, I think. I think he was in the discard pile. I yeah. Think. Oh, yeah, he Ultra Balled for the Mega Ray, didn't he? So. Yeah, so that should okay. be in the discard pile. I mean, right. I suppose that's like a mini discard pile on the right. <laughs> if you want to think the of it side that way. discard. The, the side discard. <laughs> Okay, uh, not too sure what's going on here. <laughs> a lot of gesticulating going yeah, on. There's, but, a, there's uh, a lot not of gesticulating. Much, not Unfortunately, much we, yeah, we're, we're, we can't quite discern what that means. Yeah. We need some sort of gesticulation reader to understand what's going on. Oh, so he, he hasn't played a supporter. Okay, so he gets Skylar, presumably yep. for a Mega Turbo, if he has any yep. left. But uh, Which he yep. does. Yep. So this is where that Manaphy or that yep. Spinder energy... Yep. Kind of hurts. So, should, not be, should not be able to use that. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Not much we can say about that other than probably. Yeah. It's a. It's an easy thing to miss. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, we'll keep. We'll keep moving forward. So he does get a knockout on that Greninja thanks to the splash energy. It goes back to Nathan's hand. So he's got teammates, which is really nice. So he will get a break into play, uh, and he can even. He's finally yeah. caught a break this game. Yo, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> no, no, he's actually traveling along pretty well. Yeah, so, yeah that was a pretty oh, bad joke. So he even had the break, so he didn't even need to use teammates. I'm pretty sure he's got teammates. Yeah, so well, he can just use teammates for like more energy or... Or a splash energy would be great. Yeah, or a splash energy or... A, like, he's got rescue or stretch in his hand, yeah. so he's pretty... It's going gangbusters for him at yeah. the moment. Like, unless Jonathan can sort of spam Hex Maniac at some point. Yeah. Um... It's yeah, it's looking unlikely that he's going to be able to to win this prize race because he's just taking one prize each time. Yeah, he's got to knock out four more Greninjas. Okay, or four more frogs of some description. Yeah. So he attaches the energy, which is yep. interesting because he could have just giant water shurikened it, I guess. Uh, um, yeah. Well, unless he's going to go for a choice bin, he can go for a choice bin with the teammates. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, so, oh, it must not have us... had teammates. Otherwise, you'd definitely play teammates there, I think. Yeah, possibly. I mean, seven random cards can be better than... Like, sometimes in situations you want a Sycamore instead. Like, if there's multiple cards you want to hit. Mm-hmm. But I think in this situation... Yeah. Okay, so it does get the choice band, so he's definitely going to knock out this active. Nice. Question is, can he get, like, a, a 60 damage on... I think there's a water energy in there? Yeah, he's got a water energy. He's just okay, deciding so yeah, where he to could put snipe it. A, he could snipe a Shaman or... He could, he could even go for the Mega Ray. He could. And so this is where, yeah, how much how much impact is that going to... Yeah, how much impact is that going to do? Uh, yeah. It's a, it's a free oh, no, actually prize. Actually, it's Manaphy instead, yeah. yeah. Actually, sorry, yeah. Manaphy is superior to, to hitting Shaman, really, mm-hmm. because, you know, Manaphy actually does something, so getting rid of it is better than getting rid of Shaman. And yeah. it's just as easy to knock out, so that is a good play. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the other thing, actually, to note here is that a choice band of Greninja can actually one it cow a shaman. So he can yeah. actually win on the following turn if he has the right cards. Yeah. An energy, choice band, Lysander. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, and a giant water shuriken. So that's probably asking for a lot, but, you know, it's possible. Yeah. But even He's just got in general, quite a large hand. Yeah, uh, you never know. So, okay. So this is his last Greninja. He wasn't able to get a Frogadier uh, on the last turn. So all of a sudden, things looking a little bit dicey here for Nathan. Uh, yeah, I don't think it'll be. Yeah, I don't think it'll be too concerned at this point. But yeah, I think he just got a rescue stretcher when he decided to sick them all. So mm-hmm. maybe you know, possibly runs the risk of yeah not being able to either you know, put Pokemon back in his hand or shuffle them back into the deck. Oh, we see another rescue stretcher yeah. there. So, so yeah, presumably he plays quite a few recovery yeah. cards. You know, most Greninjalists do. So mm-hmm. yeah, that's very very important for them because obviously they're very Pokemon intensive. They need to get out a lot of Pokemon over and over again. Mm-hmm. You know, Splash Energy is only getting you so far. Uh, okay, so he's so going to shuffle them back in. Yeah, shuffling three back. And, you know, it actually can be a tough decision. It's like what Pokemon specifically you do you want to shuffle back? Because mm-hmm. you don't want, like, asymmetric lines where mm-hmm. you've got too much of one Pokemon, not enough of another, because you need all the evolution to do anything. So, But but you want to skew it so that you've got generally more basics and stage ones in your deck. Yeah. Because you need those in the first place to evolve. So, I mean, that's just sort of a general rule. But Yeah, um, or even just yeah. what you're looking for uh, off your next draw supporter yeah exactly even if it's not like sort of yeah I, I, I'll run out of these yeah. it's just I want a higher chance of drawing into these so yeah definitely okay so let's see what he does here he does have a level ball so we will have access to a frogadier and he's got a dive ball for the break as well so that's really nice yes uh, okay so he dive balls for the frogadier I think he's going to change that uh, no reason not to just grab a break. I mean, he's got a lot of ball cards, so I don't think it matters anyway. Okay, so he's got a double dive ball. Yeah. All right. Okay. So he will have the break. So yeah, as, as long as Nathan can just keep getting out Greninja's uh, and keep attacking, he can't really lose. The only question is, uh, can he keep doing that? Uh, yeah, yeah, so he'll card, win. So. Yeah. yeah, he'll win the sort of the prize trade if everything mm-hmm. goes according to plan, but yeah, the question is, can he keep it up? Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm not sure what his energy situation is at the moment yeah he's got one in hand so he could take the prize on the mana fee if he wants yeah that's interesting he could take the prize on the mana fee and by getting two prizes he might get another energy out of his mm-hmm. out of his out of his prizes so he could yeah. actually attack possibly but it doesn't look like he did no so that's where the town map comes in clutch <laughs> the town map <laughs> tech the secret uh secret greninja tech that yeah. we've we've been hiding for six months you know just till, till it makes his resurgence. But yeah. yeah, so he might actually just elect to retreat and pass if he can't attack. Yeah. Uh, you know, better sacrificing a Frogadier than a, you know, a full Greninja break. Uh, he's, he hasn't played a supporter yet, so he's still... Oh, he hasn't played a supporter. Yeah. Boy, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so he plays N. Wow. Uh, okay, that's... A bit risky. <laughs> yeah, to say the least. Uh, okay. I mean, but yeah, yeah, that's, um, 
Uh, yeah, drawing two cards is pretty risky. Yeah. Oh, well. We'll see how this plays out. And that Rayquaza is fully powered up, so it will be attacking, right? Yeah, yeah. it's got three. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Mega Ray will be attacking, yeah. So, so I suppose he was worried about it. He didn't want to discard his hand, Sycamore. Um, so, I mean, look, there, there's a valid concern there, absolutely, but mm -hmm. uh, shuffling a drawing two is... Oh, he hits a splash. That's pretty much the best card you can hit off the end of Froakie. And of Froakie. That's the best two card combination, I think. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, re just, like, retreating yeah. to the Froakie is fine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah. But basically, that's a an extremely good draw. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, I mean, but still doesn't have a supporter. So yeah, you know, he's not out of the woods. And anyway, so we see a Lysander here. So mm -hmm. he's going to get the line back. But he doesn't. Crucially, that energy's gone, so he's not going to actually have. Uh, <laughs> True, the a first to see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Uh, <laughs> so he's going to uh, grab a sycamore here. I don't a think what, a ride. Yeah. what a roller coaster ride! What a roller coaster ride of the game. <laughs> the Greninja train. <laughs> the Greninja you roller coaster. You can't derail it. You can't <laughs> derail it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's he's back in action here. So yeah. he can hit for. Yeah, I mean. So what, Jonathan's just got three prizes left at this point? Yeah. Is that... Yeah, so... Yeah, he's got three prizes, but... He's kind of stacked his prizes. It's, it's not the easiest yeah. to tell. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... It, it looks like... Look, obviously, if... Yeah, if, if Nathan could draw the right cards, he he's, he's obviously still in prime position. Yeah. Did he even draw an energy off that Sycamore? I I'm not too he, sure. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if he plays, like, energy retrieval, that sort of thing. I mean, usually... It feels like nowadays mostly we just see fishermen, fishermen yeah. from Greninjas, which is well and good, but obviously you can't you know, play two spiders in one turn. Yeah. So you might have to, yeah, might not have anything to do this turn actually. Okay, so he dive balls and grabs a Froakie. Uh, yeah. The thing is, he won't have access to giant water shuriken unless he sort of. I guess he's going to sacrifice the Froakie here. Yeah. Uh, to try yeah. and get access to it, because just a t even if you had an en energy attacking with the Greninja would mean that he wouldn't really have access to giant water shuriken so uh yeah exactly so it might be worth out, it then the yeah, next one would yeah. get knocked out and yep. yeah he wouldn't have enough time to evolve up so yeah sacrificing the frokies all right here yeah uh, definitely he's got a and, repeat um, ball, which is pretty nice as well oh repeat ball, yeah that's yeah. interesting so i think um what we're seeing out of this list yeah without talon flame you know playing a lot more of those ball search cards mm -hmm. and uh, trainer smell and, and those sort of cards you know yeah. whereas the talon flame was probably couldn't fit those in so yeah. Yeah, just to show up consistency. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so he can... But with Repeat Ball, he can grab any any one of those three, so... Yeah. But I don't think he has anything left in the deck. Uh, he might have one Greninja, I think. Actually, yeah, he might... Actually, no, sorry, sorry, yeah, he might. Yeah, yeah, no, sorry, what am I talking and about? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. completely described what he said, yeah. He doesn't... Oh, no, he has a Froakie even as well. He has the whole complement. Um, so... Yeah, he'll probably just elect to yeah, sacrifice a Froakie. So then he'll be kind of on a 2-10 clock because, yeah, Jonathan will be down to two prizes mm -hmm. after this turn. We haven't seen a Hex Maniac from him either. That could be big if he could draw that. Yeah, that would yeah, be that Yeah, that'd actually be really huge. Particularly because it seems like uh, Nathan's running out of choice bands. So mm -hmm. if he doesn't have abilities, he probably won't be able to, to two a carry mm -hmm. or a Klaza yeah. or, or take prizes like... Yeah, it basically takes your prizes on, on anything. So, okay. yeah, just a just an Ultra Ball. Yeah, he's going to be digging here. I think he's digging for a VS Seeker to KO that Greninja. Yep. Yeah. Because uh, so, that would be a pretty big swing. Uh, yeah, being so... Being able to stop another giant water shuriken. I'm not sure how he can really dig for it because he can't play Shaman. What do you mean? No, no, he just put that one down. Oh, so he, just so he down. ultra board for it, put it down, and he's just shuffling his deck between. Oh, them. right. Okay, my mistake. Um, yeah. So okay. Yeah. Absolutely. So if he gets a versus seeker, yeah, that that uh, that green is going to go down. He does draw it. Wait. What's so, going on? So he didn't draw for shaman. Wait. I'm what's confused. The... I have no idea. It's. Uh, uh, I think, we we I think... must have missed something there. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I think he had sequence. already. Uh, and then I think he took the verse off the prizes, I think. Wait. Oh, no, wait. So what I thought was prizes was his deck. Sorry. I think his prizes are spread out. They're just over on the bottom. Yeah, they're on the Sorry. right hand side. No, Sorry. Bottom of the screen. So when I, said, when I said the prizes were above each other, I was looking at the deck, I think. Okay. Uh, so, okay. yeah. So that's a pretty big swing now. Uh, 
because he can set up this Rayquaza to be KO'd with a Hex Maniac, uh, with a Giant Water Shuriken, even if it retreats. Uh, if he does yeah. draw the right combination of cards, so you'll need two energy basically one to Giant Water Shuriken, uh, one to, yeah. He needs to break one to Giant Water Shuriken and one to use um, Moonlight Slash to, to yeah. 150. Wait, that's not enough. <laughs> Funner of 40. Never mind. And then he'll need to follow up with another Moonlight Slash. So yeah, I guess. And then the, and then the clutch faded town. <laughs> All right. So there. Oh, he's going for the bubble. Bubble shenanigans. <laughs> the bubble. Uh, yeah. So I think he probably. Yeah. Realizing that he probably can't win straight up. And he'll need to stall for a bit till he can get Grinch to break out. Yeah. And hey, when you get heads. Well, he you technically know, could have won if he'd gotten, uh, if he'd done Moonlight Slash for eighty, that would leave the Ray on one forty. So you could Lysander. Presumably, yeah. it would retreat. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I, possible, but I think he probably thinks that. But um, he does get head on, heads on the bubble. Uh, yeah. So. And then, wait, there's a Lysander on. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Jonathan played Lysander there. think you feel blurring but then he was lowering his own damage output so he can't even ko a greninja break well he actually could discard a spirit links if he wanted a target for yeah. blow, he could do that <laughs> uh, yeah i'm not sure what's going on here um but there's no real reason to play that lysander unless you have some way of switching the ray like an olympia or something yeah, but if he plays Lysander, he can't use the Olympia. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm not sure. Or an escape uh, switch, I don't know. Uh, okay, so he field blowers, so now his damage is down to 150. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so Nathan, he's going to attach the splash here. Hopefully gets a Greninja break and an energy. He's got yeah, because Jonathan's his... yeah, he's he's already used the life standard. So yeah, if if, if a Greninja break is active, uh, it's quite likely that Jonathan doesn't have a way of hitting around it. So and I was gonna say Jonathan discarded the Manaphy, so now that Hooper might be stuck there. Okay. Wow. All right, so this game is really fine. up and down. Um, I'm not sure how many double colors he has left. Yeah, he just got a one early on. I think yeah. he's gone through quite a lot. And he might be out. Yeah, and as we said, we don't play Floatstone. I'm pretty sure he doesn't play Floatstone. Uh, so I think the super stuck, and I think that's going to be game. Yeah, I'm not sure why he discarded the Manaphy... Yeah, he could have just discarded Shaman. Why sure played the field blower? Oh, sorry. Was Manaphy? Manaphy was already KO'd. I don't think he had Manaphy on the field, did he? Oh right. Oh sorry, sorry. Yeah, maybe it was already. Oh, sorry, it probably was already KO'd. Uh, so I, I don't know. I don't know why the field blower was played, but yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, realizes you can't do anything about that stuck active, mm -hmm. and elects to scoop. So. All right. So that was a an interesting game. So uh, Nathan takes that one down. Greninja doing the job. And, yeah, Greninja, uh, it's it's back. Yeah. You know, people thought it was dead because it just hit dry, but no, it has returned. Mm -hmm. You know, Garbodor is not an issue anymore because we got good old Field Blower. We've got Choice Band now. You know, it's just, it's all happening. And, and you know, this is, yeah, a throwback. Absolutely. So, uh, it's still a very viable deck. Of course, it just gets absolutely hammered by Decidueye Vileplume, which is yes, the main as drawback previously mentioned, yeah. <laughs> of, uh, yeah. of uh, Greninja. But against the rest of the field, uh, it's always going to be solid because of the fact that it's just a one prize attacker that can just do so much damage uh, between the Moonlight Slashes and Giant Water Shurikens. And even Shadow Stitching is a very useful attack uh, in certain situations. So... Yeah, yeah absolutely. See, like a situation where Nathan might Lysander up a Hooper or something, and then use Shadow Stitching to turn off. I Manaphy. was just about to mention so, that. I was just about to mention that. Yeah, that that would be a you know a really interesting play from here. Yeah. That's something he could do for sure. 
and he's he's probably he's seen how successful Lysander's stall is already. Yeah. <laughs> so that's something we'll probably be looking at. Yeah, yeah. if he can do it, you know, mm-hmm. in this game. So yeah, a bit of a bit of a strange game, but um, ultimately, you know, just a bit of a price trade off back and yeah. forth, and you know, both players did get set up in the end. So mm-hmm. yeah. We might even see players, you know, start taking in uh, that Giratina promo again. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a card that uh, was very hyped and didn't do anything at all. It's yeah, sort well, of, that was because when it came out, yeah. Greninja had fallen, you know, it, by the wayside. Yeah. But now the Greninja, if, if Greninja comes back, you know, who knows? Like, it might yeah. actually be played in some decks. And particularly Ray, because mm-hmm. Mega Ray, you know, you've got to play basics anyway. Absolutely. So instead of playing a Spinder, you mm-hmm. know, maybe you could play a... No bias for me, of course, but uh, yeah. instead of playing a Spinder, you can play uh, a Giratina instead, you know, because yeah. I'm sure you're more likely to play against uh, Greninja than Gyarados, but... Correction, yeah. you're more likely to play against Greninja than Roland. <laughs> yes, so multiple people can play Greninja rather than just one. But only one person can play a Gyarados. Um, <laughs> so, okay, so we'll see Jonathan start this game, which is pretty nice. Uh, of course, you always want to go first. Ray is... Sorry, Greninja is a deck that uh, doesn't really like going second because it can be put under so much pressure. No, nah, but the Wally. It's all about the Wally. Oh, the wall <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Um, so. But I don't think, in all seriousness, I don't think he plays Wally. Uh, not a card. It's, it's sort of a card that we saw like at the very beginning when Greninja decks started playing it, but then it's like they kind of cut it mm-hmm. um, because it's sort of too hard to do reliably. But yeah. hey, with Tapu Lele now, you could even yeah. see like Greninja dis- lists actually play Tapu Lele Definitely. and uh, and Wally. Yeah. So if you're an aspiring Greninja player out there, you know consider that. Yeah. Or oh, it's probably garbage and yeah, not worth playing. But <laughs> just at least consider it. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Jonathan starts Hooper, and I'm not sure if yeah, he chose to go second or if he chose to go first and just had to pass. Um, but... Uh. Uh, sure, I would have chosen to go on first to go first, and then he would have just had yeah. to pass because he didn't have anything. The uh, only thing is that um, he would have needed a spectacularly bad hand to pass because even an energy would have. He's got an energy. Yeah, so I, I think he did elect to go second. Yeah, uh, you always want to go first, uh, yeah. especially against Greninja. Like, if, even if you're playing a deck that yeah. can attack going first, if your opponent isn't playing a deck that can attack going first, you always want to go first. Mm-hmm. The only time you want to go second is if both decks can attack going first. Mm-hmm. And even then, it's not a guarantee that you want to go second. But, but that's the only way that you could want to go second, is if both decks can attack going mm-hmm. first. As in, on their first turn, sorry. Yeah. Uh, if that makes sense. So, yeah. yeah I, so, in this matchup, both decks should, should want to go first. Mm-hmm. But uh. I'm... Yeah, so I think he did go elect to go second. Yeah, yeah. So it's just an, an ultra ball for Hooper, so mm-hmm. he can get a good setup here. But of course, yeah, not going to be able to threaten an Emerald Break. Well, with yeah, basically not going to be able to threaten an Emerald Break unless again, yeah, we see three Mega Turbos and and three uh, Energy hit the discard, but probably unlikely. So yeah, yeah, these good old Frokies are safe for at least a turn. So. Yeah, so I think that's, you know, pretty much the best start that, uh, that Nathan could have wanted. Yeah. He's going first. He's not going to get knocked out on, on his first, on, on the first turn. Mm-hmm. You know, he can, he, can, he can set up, he can do what he wants to do, and uh, he can win that trade. He can win that price trade. So, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Jonathan just grabs a Hooper, a Ray, Shaman, and Manaphy. And I'm just going to set up here. Hopefully he draws a supporter. He's got another Ultra Ball. Um, doesn't have a Skyfield yet, so if he does go for Shaman yeah. here, he could be full of, fill up his bench. Yeah, then say you couldn't even play a second Ray, for instance, mm-hmm. un- unless you've got, uh, you got that Skyfield. Okay, so he discards a Shaman. That's interesting. I think he could just be thinning cards out. So that he could play a shaman, like he could ultra ball discard a shaman to grab another shaman, for instance. But he's actually just going to play the shaman straight from his hand. And, and uh, right, so he doesn't have a skyfield and no supporter, so it could be yeah. things could get awkward pretty fast. Yeah, pretty yeah. bad stuff. Him, he yeah. could have ultra ball like some stuff away before yeah. shamaning. Um, but you know, maybe he had some stuff he didn't want to discard potentially. 
but yeah, it doesn't have the best hand. Mm -hmm. And Nathan does find the Frogadier, and presumably yeah, so that's all he, he really energy. needs. Yeah, that's all he really needs on the second turn. Another Frogadier would be nice. Well, mm -hmm. actually, no, it's almost almost irrelevant if he has another Frogadier because he could just search from the deck. But uh, yeah, so well, sorry, he needs an energy. That's the most important thing. Yeah, but he gets he has the end in his hand. He might elect not to play it. Yeah, I think that's smart. But, but he sort of he can't necessarily get a good read on whether like we know Jonathan's hands. Yeah, when uh, there's a Skyfield, he out. top decked the Skyfield. So oh, sorry, I'm sorry. He started his turn, so that's yeah. what's happening. Uh, yeah, so we see it. what a triple gets and he's, he's drawn the Skyfield. So yeah, that ultra ball he had in his hand is now live. So because he can actually get, yeah, uh, he can get a Shaman. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's good for him. Uh, okay, so he discards an unknown. I'm not sure what his last card in hand is. Yeah, it was probably pretty good yeah. if he discarded unknown. Do you think? Uh, hopefully, he's got a shaman in there. A Hooper. So he's got two bench spots left. So presumably going for Ray and a shaman here. Yeah, Ray and a shaman. You think? Um, Okay, just grabs the Shaman. Right, but there's no Ray. Nope. No Ray. Um, interesting that he decided to Ultra Ball for the Hooper, given and it was only going to grab a Shaman. Yep. Anyway, uh, so he draws four cards. Uh, he'll need to somehow find a way uh, to get a Mega Turbo off this turn. If he wants to attack. Yeah, he doesn't actually have an energy in the discard pile, yeah. so it's going to be easier said than done. But he still doesn't use his supporter, so he can definitely still do it. Mm -hmm. And But yeah, I feel like if he can't get a knockout here, I think he's really going to be on the back foot. Yeah. I just, you know, judging from sort of the back and forth we saw last game, mm -hmm. I think he's going to really, really struggle. Yeah. And Nathan doesn't have any Frogadier prize this, turn, this game either, so... He's no, no, four, exactly, four. and that, that's actually something, yeah, something I forgot to mention, but yeah, he has the full complement of Froggy Deers, whereas last game he, he didn't, and he still won, so, yeah, that's that's a really good look for Nathan. Yep. Okay, so, uh, Matt, uh, sorry, not Matt, Jonathan just forced to pass there, and Nathan, yeah, he's got to be pretty happy with this situation, uh, and, so... He could have elected to attach that choice band to the active and then hit for 110, setting up a giant water shuriken sure KO at some point. Yeah. Uh, on the Hooper? Yeah. Because, yeah, if he could uh, evolve up to Greninja, attach the choice band and Moonlight Slash, taking the energy back, doing 110, that will leave the Hooper on 60. So, giant water shuriken at some point. I would take the KO. Yeah, so uh, we'll see what happens here. Nathan's still going through his options. Uh, not too sure what he's drawn off the end here. Yeah, interesting. He's, so he's attached the choice band to the bench frog it is, so... Mm -hmm. um, yeah... Possibly values doing thirty more damage to a Rayquaza, more than thirty more damage to a mm -hmm. to a um, to a Hoop. Although no, he's actually not even going to be attacking with Greninja's turn. Yeah, I, he didn't hit oh, any so Greninja's yeah. or any search cards. To, oh, sorry, to yeah, get yeah, that's right. So, uh, so forced to give up this Froki here. Not a huge deal. Yeah, not not think. huge, but I'll want to draw something <laughs> soon, obviously. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, so we see an unknown. Okay, so he field blows the Skyfield. Didn't need uh, to do that. He could have just field blowed the Choice Band. Yeah, you, you only have to discard one with field blower if, if you want to. It's up to two, so you don't need to discard. Yeah. The Stadium as well. Don't know what that's about, but um. And uh, yeah. So uh, he retreated the Hooper and then discarded it to get the energy into the discard pile. Uh, oh right, sorry, sense. yeah. Oh sorry. So he oh my mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
um, field blow ah. the sky field to put the energy back into the discard pile so it could make awesome. a turbo. No, 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 that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, yep. no, that's a good play. Uh, uh, yeah. Awesome. So, yeah, it's able to get an attack off there. And, um, yeah. yeah, so he's actually putting on some pressure. Yeah, not getting the Greninja out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a bit of a slow start from, from Nathan, but... Um, Okay, so we see the Lysander onto the Hooper yeah. again. So, similar situation. The question is, is he Lysandering because he has nothing? Or is he... Yeah, yeah that is, he is. Yeah. yeah, that's the answer to that question. Uh, okay, so... Yeah. Things could go downhill pretty fast for Nathan here. Uh, he fortunately does still have... Uh, well, he'll have three Frogadier after this. So, that's, that's still enough to get him through. Yeah. Um... And Jonathan only has one attacker at this point. Uh, he doesn't have another Ray ready to, to go. And his bench is full without Skyfield. So, yeah. This is kind of an awkward situation for it both is. players. Really. Yeah. Not an ideal. Yeah, not ideal for either player. Yeah, because, I mean, that's the thing. Yeah. Jonathan doesn't even have another Ray. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, a bit of a bizarre sort of start from both players, but... Okay, so Nathan does yep. top deck a supporter, so, he so top he'll be a very relieved to see that. So he'll, he'll almost certainly get out uh, the Greninja this turn. Hello. Looks like he had a VS Seeker anyway, so um, electing not to play any supporters is interesting. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah. maybe, um, yeah. So last turn. Oh, and he had an N as well. So okay. Okay. Um, Maybe he didn't want yeah. to end last turn because he thought that Jonathan had a bad hand, or yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, but you'd think if he just sets up, he just yeah, wins. yeah, yeah. And I don't think you know, if yeah, yeah. And I don't think you would have had reason to believe you know have a read that Jonathan did have a particularly bad hand necessarily. Yeah. So yeah, interesting play. I'm not sure about that, but um, well, he's got a supporter now. <laughs> he's he's played the end now. So yep. So going to be um, yeah, yeah drinks his cards. So, got a decent chance of drawing Greninja here. You know, obviously, yeah, his deck plays yeah. a lot of ball search cards. So, yeah, lot, lots of, you know, die balls mm -hmm. and... Um, Ultra Ball? Does he play Ultra Ball? Oh, I can't remember whether we've seen... Uh, I don't think yeah, he plays yeah, Ultra Ball. Most Greninja Ultra Ball. don't, I think. Yeah, generally speaking, they don't. Um, okay. Yeah, does so make, he gets, and gets a choice band oh, as well. Nice. So, that's actually a really good... Yeah, really yeah. good uh, set of cards. And, and gets, another die ball. Yeah. So, a die ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Yeah, that's great. So, he will have a Greninja break next turn yep. possibly or at least have the option to get one uh, uh, Jonathan just draw a card oh I I, I didn't um, see oh is he still drawing for the end I don't know uh, I'm not too sure what's happening maybe, maybe um, he drew like anyway, one two so, few cards uh, and, and just made sure yeah, he had, had the correct amount the end. Yeah. yeah okay so he's got the choice band but he chooses not to attack with the Greninja and he paralyzes with Froakie. <laughs> well, wow. well, what's the point of... What, what's Greninja in the deck for? It should all be about Froakie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, um, look, I think possibly <laughs> waiting until he got the Greninja breakout. So I thought, you know, it might actually yeah. be worth attacking and losing a Greninja. Attacking with and losing Greninja. Um, mm -hmm. But I suppose he could still then evolve to Greninja break in the following turn. But, yeah, interesting play. But it definitely yeah. paid off. Uh, if you can get a free turn of paralysis and set up to set up more, you know, that's yeah. that's good. Yeah, and of course, you know, Mega Ray doesn't of use the play switching cards, yeah. so, um, yeah. aside from, you know, most decks play, like, Floatstone, but obviously that doesn't get out of status <laughs> condition, so, yeah. Okay, so he's Ultra Ball Yeah, here. okay, finally we see Second Ray come out. Um, or, or do we? <laughs> or do we? <laughs> yeah, because... Okay, okay, we yeah. see a Dragonite here. Uh, although I'm not sure he has a Ray in the discard remember. pile. He might have been forced to discard one early on. Okay, but he's got a hooper. Anyway, yeah. Okay. So yeah. He can grab. So he'll have. Yeah, that's right. Because he'll have. He will have room, so he can he can hooper, and then grab the ray. So yeah, he yeah. can get usage out of that. Mm -hmm. So he can just discard the unknown off his. Bench yeah, he can. So he can get an extra spot. card. Um, card out of it. So yeah, yeah. Seems like it was a good play from him to to grab the dragonite instead of just grabbing the ray. So. Yeah, not sure if he has a spirit link yeah, and if he I can mean, evolve straight to the Mega Ray, which he got. 
Yeah, uh, the order was yeah. totally <laughs> yeah, off there. Yeah, you are meant to spirit uh, link. You before, should have unknown. Uh, oh, I know. Put down the thing, gotten the spirit link, and mega evolved. So, yeah, bizarre. But anyway, um, <laughs> we got there so in the end. <laughs> on to Nathan's turn. It's, yeah. The end result is the same. Uh, so yeah. it attaches a DC to a shaman. Um, not yeah, an interesting play. I, I probably would have preferred to keep the DC in case something gets lysanded up. You know, I, Sky Returns not really Definitely. going to be doing much because. There's plenty of other cheap targets on the board. Like, okay, so yeah. you can Sky Return the Shaman if it has damage on it, but like the mana is just going to get damaged instead, or another Shaman, or yeah. I suppose if he's looking to the Field Blowers, his own Skyfield again to, to discard some Pokemon possibly, but yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I, I'd prefer to see that the energy le- left in the deck, but um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Or even just attached to the rare, he still. Could have oh, of course, yeah, yeah, sorry, of course, yeah, he could have attached the ray. I th- I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah, unless that, yeah. Okay, more bubble shenanigans here. Another heads. <laughs> three from three um, from bubble. Uh, d- yeah, Nepin doesn't look like he has much else in his hand. He did have another Greninja, so it's a veritable army. It's just, yeah. Of course, the uh, the one thing we have to remember is time is, of course, always a factor Yeah, that's a good point. Games. So he might be playing for time. And this has been yeah, quite a long game. Yeah, he might be playing for time, actually. Yeah. But uh, that, that is a bit risky because... I mean, Jonathan is pretty close to winning, so from his perspective, you might want to yeah. try and win this game rather than... It, it probably, you can't rely on... Probably can't rely on it going yeah. to time. Unless unless he knows something we don't like. Yeah, maybe he knows that. Yeah, yeah, that's possible. That is possible. Cool. Um, it is, yeah. It could be that time's like just been called or just about to be called, and he thinks that this yeah. is a better route to yeah, pre- preventing Jonathan from yeah. from winning. Yeah, no, that, that, would, that would make perfect sense. Yeah. Uh, so... Jonathan just forced yep. to pass again. Yeah, so it might even just be burning, <laughs> burning a bit off the clock at this point. Um, yeah. Possibly, you know, again, we're not sure what the time is or what his strategy is particularly, but yeah, so yeah. You know, obviously it's, it's all legal and everything, but um, just playing as many cards as you can <laughs> just to you know, eat up the clock. Yeah. That's perfectly fine. That's nothing wrong with that. We haven't seen a field blower come out of no, we haven't actually. From that's, Nathan's that's a good side. Point. Um, yeah, probably. I suppose it's, it's useful to get rid of Skyfield, but yeah, yeah. So it looks like he might be playing the time yeah. game here. Uh, he's just stalling out, so he's going to bring up yeah. the. Yeah, does look like. Yeah, it doesn't really. Mm, uh, yeah, yeah, really yeah. So obviously, because um, he probably could have brought out the other Hooper. But, um, mm-hmm. oh no, sorry, he's got, uh, no, sorry, he'll be, he'll be attacking. Uh, oh, sorry, because yeah. he's going to use, um, shadow stitching, I'm guessing. Yeah. No, oh, no he, he did use Moonlight Slash there. there. He could have shadow stitched. Um, yeah, shadow stitch that's interesting. Probably would have been a If he brought it, he could have brought um, up the Hooper with no energy and used yeah. shadow stitching. That would have made it very difficult. Yeah. Jonathan would have needed a double colors. Mm-hmm. Alternatively, he could have, say, Lysander yeah. up a Shaman and, and won it K'd up with Moonlight Slash, something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so Jonathan draws no energy here. Wow, that's uh, and so wow, yeah, yeah, that's pretty pretty unlucky, honestly, because any energy would have would have got him, got Manaphy out yeah. of the active spot there, and uh, the Rayquaza is still paralyzed on the bench. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just the double paralysis from Froggy is just it's, permanently it's just paralyzed at Rayquaza, again. paraplegic. Yeah, it's just uh, oh, here we go, more shenanigans. This time going after the okay, Shaman. So now he's. Uh, now he's actually looking to. Um, he's looking to set up the game, I guess. Yeah. With some Greninja yeah, breaks. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Yeah, while still. So he could win the potentially win the game next turn. Ah, uh, yes, he could. Yes, he could. Double Absolutely. giant water shuriken, and then. Oh, the spinder's coming out. The all important spinder. Uh. I think he played Karen. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. I was wondering what was going on there. I'm like, I thought he ultra ball yeah. or something like he's getting seven yeah. Pokemon. Oh man, that bench is such a mess. Who knows what's been yeah, there just, and what just has. sneakily pull the damage Manaphy up and put it in your deck, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, so plays a Karen. That also means that Nathan gets to shuffle yeah. back his Pokemon as well. So I didn't yeah, see I don't think yeah, there's yeah, much he had, left because uh, he's pretty much got everything he on does. the field. He nearly does, point. yeah. Um, this is looking so, roughy. I think he's just going to have to pass again. Uh, I don't think Jonathan actually has any energy left because his last card in deck was a Rayquaza oh, Spirit right. Link. 
so uh, I think this game's done and dusted so this is that point that you were talking about earlier about attaching that energy to the shaman I mean the double Lysander would have got around that regardless but uh, at least he would have had the option to attack once yeah yeah definitely Uh, but anyway Uh, so Nathan does not draw a Greninja break so he might choose I mean, not the to do anything here. He doesn't yet. necessarily know for, with 100% certainty that, that Jonathan has no energy, but um, he's probably got a sneaking mm-hmm. suspicion. And the way he's been playing up to this point you know, suggests that he is just trying yeah. to kind of like slow the game down and kind of stall it out. So I think you yeah. probably won't just take a knockout here on the active. Mm-hmm. Okay, but he does get a dive ball for the break. Yeah, yeah there's so... no reason not to like at least take a KO on a Manaphy on the bench, but even if you, even if yeah. you don't knock out the active, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, of course. But if you, if you knock out the bench, um, you could just knock out active and, and win, take six prizes. <laughs> yeah, that's also a way you can do yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, sorry, of course. He can. He probably will win the game this turn. If he just he just needs... He's got a splash energy in his hand, so... Oh, sorry, that's not relevant. He's already got the energy in the active. But he just needs a water energy, and that's game. Okay, so I think either yeah. time got called or Jonathan yeah. just concedes. Uh, so, either way, Nathan takes it down. Uh, so, a great win for Greninja there. Uh, Nathan won up for the yeah, Pokedads. Yeah, and uh respect yeah so uh we'll see you guys in the next round thanks very much for watching uh don't forget to like comment subscribe and yeah see you guys guys next time bye